In today's tutorial, we'll be showing you how to paint this pear, this piece of watermelon and this banana in watercolour. These are really fun and easy, and in fact, each one can be done in around five minutes. So let's get into it. For materials, we'll be using some watercolour paper, and this is the 300 GSM cotton watercolour paper in A4 sizing. A 22 piece watercolour half pan set, a number two mop brush and an 8B pencil. Let's start with the watermelon. This is very easy to draw up, but if you would like a bit of a hand, you can use the outline sheet here that you can find on our website. Just shade the back side with that 8B pencil. Lay the sheet shaded side down onto a sheet of watercolour paper and retrace the line work. Pour some water into a vessel and keep some tissues handy. Tissues are good to sop up any spills. The first step is to lay in the shadow. Dampen the shadow area with clean water, then create a mix in the palette from black and some dark blue and lay this in with the mop brush. Allow this to dry, then lay clean water into the front triangle of the watermelon. Lay the water almost to the bottom. Create a mix from mid red and dark red and lay it into the triangle you just painted, starting from the top and bring the colour down the shape. Because of the water, the colour should lighten slightly the closer you get to the bottom. Lay some water into the base now and lay some dark green across the bottom. This will suggest the light area of skin on the watermelon. Allow the green to blend into the white area between the red and the base of the melon. For the side of the watermelon in shadow, lay some clean water into the area and then create a mix from dark red, mid red and a touch of dark blue and paint this into the area. Again, don't take the red right down to the bottom. Create a mix from dark green and black and lay this over the base. This will be the outer part of the skin. Seeds can be laid in with pure black. After we have drawn up the outline of the pear, Lay in some clean water over the shadow area and then create a mix from dark blue and black and paint it into the shadow area. We can then create a light green mix from yellow, orange and green and paint this wash over the entire pair. While this is still wet, we use a clean tissue to blot out the colour to create highlights and then let this coat dry. We can then darken the mix with a little dark blue and lay this over the pear. Blot out the highlight areas again and the area in front of the pear. This will suggest reflected light in shadow. While this is drying, the stalk can be painted in brown. The final wash is created by mixing black and brown into the mix and then painted into the side in shadow. The final step is to add some dots over the skin. After the outline has been drawn up, create a mix of black and blue and paint in the shadow.
Next, create a mix from yellow and a touch of orange and paint in the banana, leaving the stalk and the tip of the banana free of colour. Drop some green into the yellow at the point where the stalk meets the banana and the tip. Blend this into the yellow so that it transitions smoothly, then paint a light yellow into the stalk. Create a dark blue mix and paint it into the side of the banana in shadow. As the blue is laid on, add more water so that it lightens as it reaches the stalk. Create a mix from black and brown and paint in the tip and the end of the stalk. Use this mix to create detail on the banana by lightly dragging it over the surface. This will suggest scratches on the skin. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this fun little lesson and are inspired to give watercolours a go. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and we'll see you next time.